Colorado State University released their updated forecast for this year's hurricane season. Now they continue to predict an above average storm season in terms of activity. Talk about named number of storms. The average is about 14 named storms and they're going a little bit above that. Dr. Levi Silvers, research scientist from CSU's Department of Atmospheric Science. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I appreciate it. Sure. Thank you for having me. All right. So you guys did your first forecast earlier back in April. Uh, take me through the thought process on why you think it's going to be an above average season back in the first part of April. Um, well, we're looking at two things primarily. We're looking at the current sea surface temperatures in various regions of the Atlantic. And then we also look at um, various ways of forecasting what we think wind shear and vertical motion in the atmosphere is going to be like during the hurricane season. Those are the factors back in April, and that's the factors also right now for our updated forecast to kind of see have any of those factors changed or expectations for a few months from now during the peak of the season um, changed based on model predictions and things like that. Um, that's those, those factors are really the key. Gotcha. So we're looking at the uh, slow start, which is actually typical for June, right? And just because we haven't yeah. seen a named storm yet, it doesn't mean it's going to last for the entire season, right? Right. This is totally normal. I think last season with Barrel getting off to a really quick start maybe made everybody think we could get our hurricanes really early. We can, but usually we don't. So this is very normal. Yeah, which is uh, this is the fourth season in a row where we haven't seen an out of season name storm, right? Is that right? I would have to check the numbers, yeah, but yeah. I, I would trust what you're saying. So, yeah. I <laughs> know. I appreciate it. Uh, doctor, the other thing we're looking at is we've been talking about this, and not just because it's squelching hurricane and tropical storm activity, but it's that dust, and it's making for beautiful sunsets around Florida, around the Gulf Coast as well. When does that Saharan dust layer, the SAL, when does that usually start to ebb? Um, the peak, I think we haven't hit the normal peak of uh, I think maybe in the next month or so, something like that, it, it's still going to be, uh, we expect there to still be quite a bit of dust for several weeks to come yet. And it's not really till later in the season that it really drops down. Of course, that can change based on particular weather patterns. But right now, again, this is this is normal and, and will continue on for several weeks. Uh, have you been looking forward into the future about a La Nina or possible El Nino for, uh, forecast? I think maybe a La Nina might be in store. The primary things we look at, and right now the most likely outcome from a variety of sources is that we'll have neutral conditions continuing okay. throughout the season. But there's a chance of La Nina. The chance of La Nina occurring or neutral is much greater than El Nino. Mm. Be a 10 or 15 percent chance of forming. So we think um, mostly neutral is what we expect, but there is a chance of La Nina. Okay. We don't want La Nina because that means less shear and it means uh, stronger storms possibly out right. there. So I guess the, yeah, the we main... Don't want, yeah, La Nina is bad for hurricanes. It really is. I mean, I, the... it's bad for people, good for hurricanes. <laughs> it's exactly. Um, yeah, so, Doctor, I, the main takeaway for us is, listen, uh, we know that it's been a, a quiet June so far, but don't take that to be the entire season. We think it's going to start picking up, when do you think, mid-July, early August? Yeah, right now the indications are that we'll have kind of a normal peak of the seat that, that that things will pick up during the normal peak of the season, which is also different from last year. We just want people to be prepared. So I think right now when it's quiet is the time for everybody to kind of develop a plan of what they would do if a storm is coming near to them. And also, of course, stay tuned for updated forecasts and for what local weather officials are saying and things like that. So we just are encouraging people to get prepared right now while they still have time. Great. Uh, doctor, I really appreciate you taking the time out. When is your next forecast going to be pushed out? The next one will be uh, July, I believe. Let's see the exact date. Um, we've got one in July and also one in August. Um, so, yeah. Great. July, we're, I just heard July 9th. <laughs> so there you go. So yeah, get, back, get on it because you got less than a month going on. But uh, doctor, I appreciate it. Hope you come back on the show again and we'll talk about the forecast when you pump it out back in July. Thanks a lot for joining us though. Dr. Silvers from Colorado State University. Thank you, sir. Thanks for having me. Yeah.